Hey, what's up guys, it's Daisy Zaru here from Saturday's Motion Pictures with another Crystal Cool video tutorial here in Cinema 4D. So today we're going to create a crystal glass using the refraction shader from the transparency layer in the material editor here in Cinema 4D. And it's going to be a very quick and effective way of creating crystals here in Cinema and a very quick good render settings also. So let's get Crystal excited. You hold on your left mouse button, the object comes, then you click the platonic. Um, we're going to use it because it has uh, triangulated surfaces that look like a crystal shapes or jewelries or anything like that. But um, you can't edit any face here because it's not editable, just as the name implies. So you have to click on this button right here or click or tap your C button on the keyboard. So let's click all the faces here Control A on the keyboard Then we will right click and click the matrix X And it duplicates it in a mathematical way Or let's just say a matrix So you can even choose the um, uh, steps you want The duplicates you want So let's make it 5 in this case um, um, Leave everything as it is so now if you hold your left mouse button and drag slowly, you have something like this. So I guess we should leave it like this. Um, now we have a very good looking abstract shape or uh, jewelry. Now all you need to do is to create a shader that we were talking earlier on. So you go to create from the shader menu, use the bungee. The Banji is a preset shader uh, that has all the glass properties that you might need here. So you double click it to edit it because we don't want to use uh, just the preset. We want to modify it and it's a very good way. You shouldn't always use the preset. You should at least try to give it your own creativity out of it. So you off the diffuse. You don't want any color from it. The specular, um, it's okay. A specular too, um, I think it's good also. Um, there's on the anastrophe here, and um, let's change it from here to um, let's try the radio planer. I think this is very good. I, um, you should always try to make your own out of it. You should um, at least save a copy, then you. Um, experiment on every single parameter we discuss here so you get a very fast movement and learning distance so you put the specular to um, I think this is good so you drag the glass material to the platonic now you have a glass layer let's be real and see you see we already have a good looking system but there is one more thing now we need is a we need a light inside to reflect out all the reflections inside so create a light by just clicking here once so if we render this again uh, you see there is a uh, different from the first render but um, now the only thing left is to let's give it some animation some movements let it just rotate so we click on the platonic go back to the object selection with the whole selection so we keyframe the rotation from zero it's an auto keyframe from zero now go to the last frame and rotate it a bit just a bit you can also do something like this there you click now if we go back to the first frame and play it, see it has a uh, animation now. If we should render this, it's very good. So we go on to the next step by creating a light we want, a uh, plain light to reflect on the glass. So we go to the object menu and you hold down our left mouse button, click the plane here. Then let's reduce the width segments to about 5 here. And uh, let's off the light so we can see what we're doing. Um, zoom out a bit, take it up, make it editable also so we can edit every single face here. Yeah? 
So we choose the po some polygons and delete the rest. So let's just click a uh, checkboard um, like this. Um, and we delete them so we create a flat light uh, luminance channel that reflects it as uh, like a studio light so we double click here and off all the channels and isolate only the luminance channel and in this case so we leave it like this we drop the luminance up to the plane um, now we have our lights we drag it off so it, it will not be showing in the Final render, rotate it a bit. This point. Um, let's not allow our camera to show the lights. So now, if we render it, you see we have a very good um, rendering out here. And I think for the platonic here, we should uh, change this from the radio and make it a uh, something different. Um, and this uh, radio pattern planner. I think this is better. Now for render you see a different, uh, don't have the kind of uh, metallic surface here. Um, now if we on this light here, uh, you see it's getting very cool. Now if we should play the animation and render it out as a complete full video that could play in every single device you can play. So let's go to the render settings from here, um, choose the Let's leave it as preset 800 by 600 pixels, 72, it's okay. So we choose all frames from the uh, frame range so it could um, multiply all the frames and save them as a single video here. So we'll save to a directory here. In this case, let's change it to any name we want. Let's name it um, Diamond. Let's choose an AVI movie here, and uh, I know this is very important to on the anti-aliasing, but because it's a glass, we want some kind of noisy edges, so we'll just leave it at geometry here. So we'll leave it like that, and that's all. Let's go to the next screen and see the render here. Um, yeah, as you can see um, so that's it thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you find it helpful and i also like to see your work so you show um, post it to this channel and also leave a comment so thank you for watching hope i will see you next time thank you